Am I a jerk for not letting my husband be friends with the girl he sorta cheated on me with? My 37F husband, 42 meters, had a really hard time adjusting to fatherhood. After the newborn stage when the baby was a few months old he had a flip out he broke up with me and went to a party and got super drunk and made out with a mutual friend. It was horrible. I felt sick all night not in contact with him, at home with our new baby. He showed up at 4 a.m. still blackout drunk after avoiding my calls all night, and said, fuck you I made out with Amber, before passing out with all his clothes on on the floor. I confronted Amber 42F via text and she said that he had pushed drinks on her and pressured her into it, and that it was all his fault. The next day with a horrible hangover husband said that Amber's story was not true and until he blacked out he remembered her drinking and flirting with him and he felt angry at her for spinning it like that. He begged for forgiveness, and we got into therapy. We never really talked much about that night, because the problem wasn't the one make out, but it was more about him being afraid to be a father and breaking up with me. Those issues were resolved and nothing like that ever happened again. Honestly he's been an amazing father he's totally committed to me. We even ended up having another child that he really wanted. So fast forward 7 years. We have seen Amber around many times and we're all always friendly, no big deal. Amber and him started texting a few weeks ago. At first I didn't really care. She's in the same circle of us and they have a lot of common, but then she invited him to a drive-in movie, and I said it made me uncomfortable and I didn't want him to go on a date with her. He thinks I'm being unreasonable. They're just friends, and we've already dealt with all of that stuff. I just feel sick over it. I keep on thinking about it and I just hate the idea. I never want them to have one-on-one -on -one time alone together. If I'm honest with myself I want to deny them a friendship, because what they did hurt me so badly. Should I just get over it and let them be friends? I don't think that they'll sleep together, but I do think I'll feel sick to my stomach the whole time they are hanging out. Or should I put my foot down and not allow the friendship? He's totally committed to me. No, he isn't. Awards. Many thanks. The level of disrespect he is showing you by even broaching the subject is mind-boggling. He literally wants to go on a date with the person he cheated on you with. What is his excuse for cheating this time? Y'all got more money for therapy? If not, tell him to cut the shit. Now you know this woman is a liar. She has no business asking a married man to a drive-in. She wants him to go you go as well. Ah, uh, she asked him to go to a movie. Honey, that's definitely a date in her mind anyway. You are absolutely right to say na uh to that. Being in the same friend group is one thing, but one-on-one -on -one interactions like that? No way. Especially since she was involved in that situation with your hubby. A drive-in movie? Dot. Girl, have some self-respect. Also, are you sure this is the first time they've been in contact? If my husband cheated on me, which he did, not, sorta, and had the audacity to try to maintain a relationship with that person? Hell no. The disrespect here is profound and frankly, I wouldn't tolerate this shit. This would be marriage ending. Edit, your final comment of, I don't think he'd sleep with her, says so much. You need to get a backbone. The fact that's even a thought is just, yikes. Would you want one of your children to be in a relationship like this? Have your lawyer suggest it to him. Here's the line, here's your husband crossing the line man walking light skin tone, man walking light skin tone. You guys do what you want in your own marriage. I'm just throwing it out there that in my marriage we don't date other people. Would he go to a drive-in with a guy friend? I would guess not. This looks, smells, and sounds like a date. Being friendly when you are in the same social circle is very different than hanging out one-on-one -on -one in the dark. Put your foot down. You're not wrong, except when you say that he, sorta, cheated on you. He flat out cheated, and therefore should never interact with Amber again. Or should I put my foot down and not allow the friendship? You should be putting both feet down, in sequence. Do it a lot of times. A lot. He is cheating on you. When my husband cheated one of my rules going forward was zero contact with his AP. I told him I'd leave without discussion if I found out they so much as spoke. I can't imagine knowing they were texting much less going to a movie. I'd hand him divorce papers yesterday. 
And your husband didn't sort of cheat. He did cheat. No of course you are not a jerk. She invited him to go on a date, and he obviously wants to go. If he had any respect for you and how you feel he would never even entertain the idea. Whatever else he says is bullshit. No, no, no. He's going to end up fucking Amber. He's starting a relationship with her blatantly right in front of you. When you reasonably make a fuss, he will hide it and then you will resort to becoming the marriage police, checking phones and whereabouts. Not fun for you. Totally understand the reasons why you want to save a marriage, especially with a child. I was there. But he has cheated on you already and is now pursuing someone else. Better to leave now before he leaves you for her. I'm cool with having opposite sex friends. I'm cool with being friends with exes. I'm not cool with being friends with someone you cheated with. That's just asking for trouble. You also don't get to break up with your postpartum wife so the is isn't technically cheating. Reminds me of I declare bankruptcy. I don't know any of you and this story makes me want to fight Amber and your husband. What the hell? If you are okay with this garbage get a divorce lawyer. If you're not comfortable them being friends then put your foot down. You've made it clear that you don't want them to be friends especially after what they did. If he wants to go through with it then it suggests some ill intent on his part or him being oblivious. If I was in the same situation I'd put my foot down, at this point he should respect your decisions. Bullshit. They aren't friends. I personally would leave him if he continues. You are more patient than me. You are 100% not a jerk. After he cheated on you with her, he only gets to have a relationship with one of you. Ask him if he value your feelings and how he would feel if you were going out with someone you cheated on him with, if he has brain cells to think that far. Most people wouldn't want their partner to be in contact with the person they cheated with. I can understand he and her used to be friends, and so did you but it doesn't change the fact they cheated. It has consequences and the friendship and communication with her is one of the consequences. You should set boundaries and decide if you are okay with then having contact at all. After all losing her shouldn't be a big sacrifice, if any, while losing you would be, right? My boyfriend, hanging out one on one with another girl. It's a date. I would never in a thousand years, invite a guy friend who has a girlfriend to go to the movies with me. I'd feel so bad, I wouldn't want her to worry so I would definitely invite her as well. The more the merrier. Want to be alone with him? Dot. What the fuck is all I have to say? Disrespect from both of them. If he was committed he would have found that uncomfortable and strange and he would have stood up by your side, defending you. That is what love and respect is. Yes, why are you letting him do this to you? Not okay. You are right, he is wrong. He shouldn't be doing anything with that woman. My husband would never hang out with his friends that are women alone. He's not committed you need to talk to a lawyer. Your husband sucks. I don't think they'd sleep together. Yo they already made out once, hopefully that's the truth. Who knows what would happen again. The fact he's messaging and planning to do something with this bitch who he cheated on you with is a big fat red flag. Don't downplay it. Put your foot down with some boundaries and if he doesn't agree well there's your answer. She invited him to a drive-in movie. Because I am sure Amber invites all of her random friends to go to a drive-in movie. The only response to this situation is ah hell nah. This is a job for Captain Obvious. Why aren't you invited to their movie? Oh, that's right because she wants to date him and not you. He cheated on you. She a mutual friend. Disrespected you and your marriage. A fucking course you can put your foot down here. A huge part of moving on from infidelity is severing any and all connections with the affair partner. The audacity here from both of them is shocking. She is making a move and he is allowing it. Once a cheater always a cheater. He's not as sorry as he pretended to be if he's willing to ruin your relationship and your mental health over casual chats with a friend. They're friends. Naked friends. I would never be okay with my husband going on a date, and that's definitely what this is, with another woman. At all. Ever. He did not sort of cheat he did cheat. He went to therapy and now you're letting them have a relationship? It should be no contact with him and Amber. Bruh. He's totally committed.
I am convinced that this is a troll post because there is no way in hell you're serious. Not the asshole. Is he fucking kidding? He wants to go to a drive-in with the woman he cheated on you with? Everyone knows what goes on at drive-ins if you're over 12, and it isn't the movie. You should make an emergency therapy appointment just to examine this situation. I am fearful for your marriage my dear. ISNT a drive in pretty, personal. That's definitely a date and I am sure she knows it too, she's just trying to play dumb. I think it's messed up your husband would even suggest hanging out with this woman alone after he cheated on you with her. Wow. So he wants to date the other woman? And this is okay because you guys, already dealt with all that stuff, and he can do whatever her wants? Ooh okay. So when do you go on dates with other men? It's only fair, since he is obviously cool with this open marriage he is forcing on you. If you want to invite Amber and her date over for a movie, that's one thing. In what universe does a married man go to a drive-in movie with a female, friend? That is the stupidest thing I've heard in a long time. When I was a teenager, we went to drive-in movies with a girl for one reason and one reason only, to make out. I doubt your husband has grown past that stage. Tell him it's Amber or you. Period. No discussion. The husband sounds like a douche who needs a kick in the caboose. A man who cheated, is truly remorseful and wants his marriage to work would never keep the girl he cheated with in his life in any manner or form. A man like that would cut contact with the woman he cheated with without his wife even asking him to do so. Your husband isn't that man. Even though your husband went to couples therapy he knows nothing about committed relationships. You not wanting her around isn't unreasonable at all. Op, there is no reason for a woman that he's shown even an iota of interest in to invite him to a drive-in move, assuming this is a single invite for him and not you both. If it makes you uncomfortable, then that's how you feel. Honestly, the galls for her to invite him to a movie date and him dismissing your feelings is sketchy. It wouldn't make me the least bit comfortable, and don't let him gaslight you about the situation either. He 100% did cheat on you, not sorta cheat. If he respected you and valued your relationship, he would not be texting her and would immediately shut her down when she asked him on a date. Doesn't matter how good of a dad he is, he's being a shitty husband and not being fair to you at all. How would he feel if you went with another guy to a drive-in movie? I am sure they did more than make out. That's all he's willing to tell you. A drive-in movie theater what the actual fuck that's a date. Say no or leave him. So much disrespect. He cheated on you before and he's emotionally cheating on you now. I totally understand you have children, I don't, but if my husband did half this shit I would leave him and my husband knows it, I've made my boundaries known. Not sure if you've communicated boundaries after your couple's therapy. Sending positive juju. You deserve W-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-A-Y better. I recommend solo therapy for just you two. Get a lawyer. And then get all your ducks in a row. This is beyond disrespectful. He's didn't sorta cheat. He cheated on you at a time when you were extremely vulnerable. I really think you should put your foot down and ask him to look at this situation from your point of view.